Hi, it's Strong Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a speed build on a butterfly pond that I recently made for my entrance. I started with an outline 11 by 9 squares and I wanted to make the outline so I knew kind of where to place my butterfly pond. Also, one of our friends, Jim, she ended up making me a grid to follow. I didn't actually use it because I finished before her grid was done. I wanted to include it though, just in case it would help some of you to see how to map this out properly. The first part is basically getting the outline of your butterfly kind of mapped out here in the middle of your square. You kind of want to make an idea of having the upper and the lower. So I did the upper four squares and the lower was three squares. I do think I changed that later on. I'm not sure on the actual numbers, but as we go on further in this video, you'll see that I do change the bottom half to be a little bit bigger than I had originally planned. A tip on rounding out the corners is basically you stand on the other side of where you want the corner to be and you hit the ground in front of you and it will make the corners into more of a round shape than a square shape. During this little part, you'll see me go back and forth with the sizing and the placement of the outline of my butterfly. I was basically trying to figure out how this butterfly was going to be shaped proportionately. The easier part is rounding the corners. Here is that map again of how you should round the corners and which ones need to be rounded to make it proportionate. So basically I'm realizing right here that I need to make my bottom half a little bit larger so that it matches the top half a little bit better. So after looking at it and trying different things over and over, I decided to get rid of the stuff in the middle so that I could kind of see what the butterfly was actually looking like without the middle because I almost got confused when it came to which sides needed to be curved versus which sides didn't. So taking the middle out to make the actual pond helps a lot. So at this point, this is what I worked on. I had found this really cute boat image that I wanted to use on the actual island in the middle of my pond and the chat that day thought that my boat should be in the center, kind of like having the butterfly body in the center. I did play around with it a little bit and I even made a poll and everybody voted that they liked it in the center and so I do leave it in the center but later I do change it back to the way I wanted. Somebody also commented on having like the middle of the butterfly section have something on it. So I played around with that and ultimately I decided to just have my boat off center. And this completes the actual build. The pond is made, it looks like a butterfly from up top. I love the way it turned out and I think having the boat off center works even better. 
Now I'm going to show you how I kind of decorated around it. We did jump forward a couple of days. The, the grass changes very quickly in the beginning of March, like March 1 through the 3rd is brown and then anything after is like bright green. So I did decide to make it more of a meadow butterfly gardeny sort of entrance with just really pretty flowers and a few things mixed in and out. Um, I am doing a mom core spring core island. So I thought adding in the mom stuff um, like a picnic and the vintage car, all that kind of stuff would be pretty cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.